Hello, my friend. You find me in a a mall. It's called uh, Coex C O E X Mall. It's the largest underground mall in Seoul. Whatever that means. I've walked around it, and I'll be totally honest. I'm not that impressed. Thank you very much. But I have ordered some food. Um, I'll show you the food. I've honestly no idea what it is. Um, it's kind of a noodly dish. Green things in here. I've got half an egg in here, which is always a good thing. Oh, it's um, shrimp, uh, like wonton type things. That's what it is. In a soup. And then a Coke. Has, does Pepsi still exist? I don't think I've seen a Pepsi in Asia for years. I've certainly not seen one anywhere I've been, and I prefer Pepsi, so I would always choose a Pepsi. But. So, a funny thought, funny thought, or question. Um, well, fried chicken is all over Korea. Like, every other food place is like fried chicken. And I've got all the American fast food places as well. So why? Uh, Koreans, not fat little fuckers, like um, Europeans, Aussies and Americans. Or even Malaysians, the fattest nation in Asia. Do we have a reason for that? Um, I have noticed they don't have lots of chocolates, like the chocolate choice in chocolate shop or in um, convenience stores is very small. That's very nice. All right. We're near, near the Gangam area. I don't actually know where we are. I'm interested by this place. I might come here for food later, but it's called Egg Slut. I don't know. Anyway, we are going up. Um, yeah, Korea. It's spiffing. If you got the money, you need money. To be able to do Korea properly, you need lots of money. I was looking at getting a sushi just now. Like, kind of standard little pieces of sushi with, you know, rice with a bit of salmon on top. Which I can get a bucket full of for nothing in Malaysia, like three seven, three pounds seventy here for just one piece. I don't think I can do that. Anyway, what an impressive place. Yeah, I don't know where I am, don't care. I'm just going out and walking and, well, a lot of noise. You're welcome to come with me. I don't know what this thing is. We got art in the streets. I do appreciate any kind of art in the streets. I appreciate a country that is willing to spend money on things that are just there for you know people's well-being to make them feel good and look, look at things and think, well, that's cool. Seoul Summit 2010. Big shiny ball. Yeah, I'm just at, um, so I'm at Sang Siong tube station just there. And I'm just kind of wandering. I don't know which way I'm going even. Yeah, I'm just kind of walking to see what looks like it might be worthy of a place to go. This road looks a bit long and boring. Oh more statues and things down there though people on their higher bikes on the bike there's lots of high bikes and higher scooters around here but unlike malaysia and other places i've been uk they don't just seem to get dumped on the ground and left or chucked in rivers i haven't seen that going on at all we're we gonna go that way i don't know which way to go i'm just kind of looking Well, that's a big, long, busy road that way. A big, long, busy road this way. So we carry this way, just because there's some, like, cool stuff. Coex. There's a big aquarium in there. There's also a huge cinema in there. Oh, and a library, massive library. I like this, the one behind me. I love reflections on buildings. Always been my thing. Soul is colourful. 
it's lively it's a bit Singaporean as much as everyone seems to be in a hurry and but it's it's, it's much much less polite than Singapore people here are a bit more pushy and stuff which I don't like um, but the country itself fucking loving it loving it oh, I'm really liking that reflection this is what's in front of me and it's reflecting in oh I can't show you it's reflecting in the window of the building across the road over there you probably can't see that with this camera I could get the map out and see where to go but I like the idea of just walking just exploring you know blindly I think that says a lot about the city if you can just wander and find interesting things as you walk along rather than having to sort of be must, you know bust or trained there's a whole load of these ionics here I was in one the other day so much leg in the back incredibly comfortable little cars Elon Musk can go suck a dick I'd much rather have one of them than buy anything off that bastard funny this area I'm in now well this mall just seems to be I don't know it's where all the white people seem to be I've seen far more white people today than I've seen the whole time I've been here so it's obviously is a popular area for something. As I said, I think it's near Gangnam. Oh, within. But I don't know which direction. I'm not looking at the map. I'll show you the spiky art in a second though. So some things in Korea are incredibly expensive. Food. Some things in Korea are incredibly cheap. Transport. You can hop on a, a, a tube station. Tra tubes. Travel all day for buttons really absolute buttons but you stop and have a meal I mean I had that burger I had yesterday was fucking excellent value but a lot of the Korean food is bloody expensive and as I said sushi is far too expensive for me I see a lot of these Cadillac Escalades here I guess it's because they've got the the American army here haven't they I guess that's what it is Everywhere I've been in the city, there seems to be something going on. Like building or improvements or whatever. It's very good. Um, so in Malaysia, all the cars, or main majority of the cars, are either your Protons or your Progers, or then it gets to the really stupid Mercedes and, and Porsches and BMWs. Here it's a whole load of Hyundai's and Kias. But there are lesser numbers of Mercedes and BMWs and things but they're like the Hyundai's and, Ki and Kia's are not ones that I've seen really in the UK see a few quite a few BMWs as well and then you've got the Genesis which I think is must be the post version of one of their other brands one of their brands kind of looks a bit like an Aston Martin front end and I love these little square cars I'm also loving this building across the road from me. You can see that. I made a mistake here. When I came out, oh, I've just seen something. When I came out, I thought it was um, cold, and now I'm hot. It's incredibly hazy, though. I don't know if you can see over there, there's a towery thing. Really hazy today. I don't know where that's come from because it was fine yesterday and a day before I don't know I just found the hands you know sigh doing the cross hands dancey dancey bit so I guess I truly am in, in Gangnam let's go and have a look show you them so you can see that I've been to Gangnam styly mal thing Judging by the amount of people here, everyone's going to see the Kangum slightly handy thing. So let's give our stick up a bit higher. There you go. There they are, everyone's. Uh, that person tried to do a dance, didn't know what it was. Quite, just like me, probably. So here we go. These are the famous hands. So 
the Gangan style behind me. Oh, not uh, big busty bird doing it. Go on, girl. Anyway, so I guess that means I'm back in Gangan. Um, I love this build a HTC building behind me. I mean, it's a plain building, but they've done stuff to it that makes it look very interesting. See, Malaysia, this is what you do. You put lots of things, interesting things, all along the freaking road so that people have nice things to look at. And you make pavements and sidewalks that aren't fucking slippery every time it rains so that you break your neck. I'll never get over that. Swimming pools, or same in Indonesia. Swimming pools, pathways, fucking everything. If it rains in a tropical country as well, they don't use non-slip surfaces. It's fucking mental. Anyway, more balls, silver balls. I'm hoping I'll lose some weight here because I'm putting a lot of steps in and I'm not eating an awful lot of food. Not an awful lot. I'll put the camera that way. So you can see the more interesting stuff that side. I don't know if you can see me, but who cares? I'm not important. I was kind of debating whether or not to go for yet another baseball game, but I don't think I should. Maybe later in the week. I've got, I think, four or five more days to go. I've been to two, I might make it three. I'm actually out near Jamsil Stadium right now, which is where I watched my first game. Looking on the map, it wasn't far away. I mean, I don't know how far walkable or not, but it went far. Just this is my wife. She said that, that she didn't see much variation in, in the buildings in Korea. That was in the part we were in. Unfortunately, they've had to go home and I've got to see all the variation in the buildings and it's fabulous. All right, we'll stay in here. People going down there, I don't know where it is or what it is. Ah, we'll come back round to the mall. There's the mall down there. So I'm obviously doing big circles or I'm just down the other end of it. I'm not sure. Don't care either. In fact, that's why I came in. That's a different tube station. That's something like Bougainvillea, but it's not. That's what that one was called. Right, I'm saying goodbye because I think I'm just waffling. Maybe we'll get something out of it, but I doubt it. Yeah. Bongamusa.